Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply the decision tree on your data in Rapid Miner. So this is my data that is about the job. And if I show you my data, then you will see here there is uh, something like job ID, title, location, department, and so on. And there is a <clears throat> at loss, there is an attribute that is fraudulent, and we make this attribute as an label. So, uh, here you can find some question mark that is some missing values. So, in decision tree, okay, there are certain uh, missing values. So, first we remove these uh, missing values by applying the decision tree model. Okay, so inside the design. Here, remove this connection and inside the operators here write the missing values this is the replace missing values drag and drop here and connect this output as an input of replaced value and now we have to use a label okay in this data there is no green uh, uh, column shows it means that our data is we not specify a column yet a label so therefore here write set role for label specific column now this is set role uh, connect the replace missing values to this one and here basically I want the label uh, of fraudland so therefore here write fraudland and this is label okay so now we are ready to apply the decision tree from here i want to use the 70 percent data as in training data and then apply the remaining 30 percent to that data for testing purpose so here first thing is to split the data or you can also uh, use the cross validation uh, write the split data this one for the testing and training purpose connect this and here inside the edit enumeration add an entity first is 0.7 that is 70 percent and second is 0.3 for 30 percent okay click ok and now we apply the decision tree this is the decision tree apply here and apply on the first port to the decision tree that is the 70 percent data to we on the 70 percent uh, we train uh, the decision we apply the decision tree and the train and here use the model for training purpose so inside the operator here write the apply model and this one and after we apply the decision tree on the 70 percent of data okay the result will show store inside the apply model in order to train the model and the remaining 30 percent data directly apply we will directly apply okay the remaining 30 percent to that model when it is trained on the 70 percent of data and here i also want the performance so here write the performance operator and program drive the performance classification as well okay if i arrange this one here in order to meaningful showing and connect the apply model to the performance and give me the output of the performance as well as the data as well okay so this is how we can apply the decision tree on the 30 percent uh, 70 percent of the data we apply this decision tree and train the model and when our model is trained then remaining 30 percent we apply on that model in order to get the performance and results as well so now click on the execute button to execute this okay then here you see that uh, the decision tree showing to me and in order if I minimize okay so decision tree basically is showing to you like this one okay and based on this we have 
basically we can uh, uh, different decision we can make different decision as well okay inside the performance vector our accuracy is 97.28 percent is showing to the this one as uh, there is uh, uh, when predicted class is no and uh, also actual class is true so it basically correctly predicted the no attribute of the uh, column that is prediction uh, sorry fraud length and in okay, so overall accuracy is 97.28 percent we can also plot here and there is something this is the decision tree and this is the example set so we can apply the decision for example this one if telecommunication job is less than equal to five job id then has question employee type is full time and required experience inside the job description then the job will be associate director and so on okay and it is fraudulent in case of entity level case so this is overall how the decision tree works in rapid miner so guys uh, this is how you can apply the decision tree on your data hope this video uh, will help you a lot okay one thing more inside the result uh, if you go to the description here all the tree is showing and one thing more uh, if I delete the performance and directly show me for example the auto model result and if you execute then you can here find something more interesting when <clears throat> the fraudland is no and our predictive prediction in fraudland is also no okay so it basically correctly predicted the no class on the remaining 30 percent of the uh, data as in testing so basically this is because the confidence of no is greater than the confidence of yes so therefore it predicted no okay so here something like error also if the fraudland is yes and it predicted no so basically here the confidence of uh, no is greater than the confidence of yes so therefore it wrongly predicted no okay and this is the overall how the decision tree works so hope uh, this video will help you a lot if you have any questions regarding to this topic you can email me email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day